We've talked about the screw worm over the last couple months. This is a parasitic fly that can be really, really dangerous to livestock, so much so that there is you know, an alert by the agriculture department here in the United States. They're tracking where they're finding these flies and how close they're getting to the border. It's very serious. So the FDA has preliminary approved some treatment for dogs. So if you're on a, on a border state, there's a preliminary sort of experimental treatment that's approved for dogs and also one for cattle. So they're trying to move in this direction to protect animals because if this spreads, it can spread very quickly and damage livestock very quickly. That affects not only farmers and ranchers, but food supply in the United States. In the past, the way that we have combated this and got it out of the United States is by releasing sterile male flies. And that way the flies couldn't reproduce, you know, whether or not that's going to be effective this time or how we're going to approach it this time in a new novel way a few decades later. That's a big question. I just want to put that, there's one of those stories that keeps on coming up. And I have that feeling sort of like the bird flu that suddenly it becomes a really big story. And I just want to, again, put that on your radar.